a 93% of how we communicate is without words. Mm -hmm. So when someone walks in my door, if I'm using my EQ, short for emotional intelligence, I'm reading what kind of mood is that person in? And how do I read that? So many different ways. What's going on behind the eyes? What's the person's demeanor? Is she like, you know, how, how about just even how's the person dressed? Is she like kind of disorganized today and she's usually organized? And what's the person's mood? All of those things tell me so much. And here's what's important. If that's out of sync with what she's saying with her words, I tend to trust the body more than the words because the body, why is the body going to lie? If you're tired, you're going to let me know. And I need to honor that. I've, I've done staff meetings, for example, where like I'm really excited about things and I look around the room and people are going, because <laughs> it's the end of the day for them. And at that point, I say, okay, guys, wait a minute. I, I'm just noticing the energy just shifted and went down south. Let's, um, how about we offer this? And we all stand up and we do like something active and then we, then we got, then more energy comes back. We have in each heartbeat, each heartbeat communicates up to five to 10 people away. You can go online to the Institute for Heart Math and see electromagnetic, graphs of how each heartbeat communicates to the person around us. Now here's the deal. Each heartbeat communicates, I'm glad you're here, let's work together. Are you getting any closer to me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go talking with my other buddies about you. Have you ever sat on an airplane and had somebody next to you that you knew was going to be tough to deal with? All the time. If a parent walked in that door, could you tell what kind of mood the parent's in? Yes, you can. So this is powerful when it comes to communication because, put your arms out again, guys. How many of you could bump into somebody? If you <laughs> yeah. Because look, we're giving each other, you know the thing about mixed messages? We, if, if I'm doing well with Deb, that's awesome sauce. But if, if Wendy and I are having a fight, what am I gonna wanna do? I'm not gonna I'm gonna put my back to her. And what happens at staff meetings? Mm -hmm. All this stuff goes on because we don't like conflict, we need to communicate, and we can't stop communicating. We can't stop our bodies from communicating.